What's good guys, Fear Fire here and today I'm going to be talking about Pandora and Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Now this is a mechanic that's highly underrated by a lot of players and it's actually much easier to set up than what it first appears. So today I'm going to be running down some of its uses. The most obvious use is combos. Now there are two reasons why Pandora is so useful within combos. Firstly, there is a 14% damage boost without gems, meaning that with 10 or more hits, your damage scaling will be raised to 24% instead of 10. Now secondly, you start off with a full stick of butter, so you have access to super and EXs right off the bat. There are multiple ways to implement Pandora into your combos, starting with a wall bounce. A wall bounce will add a substantial amount to your juggle counter, meaning you typically won't get a full extended combo. On top of this, the opponent is obviously airborne, meaning some supers will not be effective in achieving max damage. Next we have ground bounce, which works the same as wall bounce with the effects to the juggle counter and the opponent being in an airborne state, but it differs in the fact that you have less time to set up your combo extension. Stagger is one of the easiest states to utilise for setting up Pandora as it gives a huge window for you to activate. On top of this, the opponent will remain standing so you'll have a massive damage potential when using your full 3 bars. Crumpler is similar to Stagger as it gives you a huge window for attack, but in the latter end of the state the opponent will be airborne, so you'll need to recognise how far along in the animation they are so you can do the appropriate combo. One of the more strict ways of comboing into Pandora is to use a move that is plus 8 or more on hit. This is possible because Pandora takes 5 frames to fully activate, and 3 frames is typically the quickest normal a character has, although this will be different in some cases. And lastly we have jump cancelling. Now Pandora will not cancel a normal like typical specials and supers, but it can still cancel a jump on start. So if you use this in tandem with moves such as chun -Li or Kami's close roundhouse, you can land massive damage with really limited scaling. To do this you need to input down, down, up and strong and forward. Pandora doesn't really allow for many more specific resets, however it does mean that instead of requiring multiple resets to make a comeback, you can typically just use one without needing a lot of meter. A really effective use of Pandora is within resets. If you use your point character to set up a specific situation for your anchor to guarantee yourself a 50-50 mix up, you can do massive chunks of damage in a very short time frame. This example here uses a jump cancel close roundhouse from Chun Li, followed by Geef's green hand, and dependent upon the strength, we either cause a fake cross up or an actual cross up. Even if the opponent is to roll, you can either go for guaranteed damage with the throw or another 50-50 between SPD and immediate attack. In my opinion, the best way to look at Pandora is as an extension of your character's toolset. If you don't have a good way around fireballs, you can use your anchor to cover this up at the end of the round. Another example would be with Antiers. There's a lot of the Street Fighter casts that don't get substantial damage without meter from an Antier. So if you have a good team composition, you can really cover this up and change the dynamics of the match. It's really not just a gimmick. If you can establish the fact that an opponent can't do one thing that your character is typically vulnerable to, you'll have the opportunity to play to your strengths and making comebacks a lot more viable. Anyway guys, I hope this helped and I'll see you soon. Peace.